Hey everybody, I want to go over a couple different ways that you can add your chart or your graph to your um, infographic this week. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the really cool way that Canva allows you to add a chart. So down here on your elements tab, you will see one that says charts. So if you go ahead and click the see all button there. Okay. So you might want to decide between mostly a bar graph and a pie chart, I think are the best ones for this particular type of project. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this one here. And it's going to start with some very generic information here. And the way that you change it is over here on the left. And if you're not seeing this, you click on the edit button. Um, and that's where you will see all these different options. So, um, so if you're going to do something like, you know, the percentage of what you do throughout your day, you can change where it says like item one and put in FaceTime with friends. Homeschool. Play video games. All at my siblings. Not that any of you are doing that, I'm sure. Uh, maybe you're watching Disney Plus. And what's cool is you can actually go beyond this and you can add more items. Um, so maybe you are also eating snacks. And hopefully some of you are taking some time to go outside. Okay. So now what you need to do is add in some, uh, some numbers here that help to indicate like the percentage of the time that you're doing that. Um, so let's say you FaceTime with your friends. Oh, uh, maybe you do that for like 5% of your day. You do schoolwork for maybe 10% of your day. Well, we'll say 15% of your day. Maybe you play video games for 20% of your day. And maybe you yell at your siblings for another 5% uh, of your day. Maybe you're watching Disney Plus. Uh, about the same amount that you're playing video games. Uh, eating snacks a little bit more than you're FaceTiming your friends. Um, and maybe you're going outside about the same amount of time that you're eating snacks. <laughs> I don't know. So those numbers don't exactly um, correspond to like percentages, but I was kind of looking at those numbers and using it to compare, you know, how much I spend time doing those things throughout the day. So once you have all that information on your chart, you can resize it just like any other element and place it where you would like on your background. Um, you can also edit the size of the text. So if you want to be able to see what those words say a little bit more, you can increase that size, but just be careful because, you know, it will make the entire graphic get bigger as well. I had some issues while I was working on my own. Okay. So when I was working on this one, I did have an interesting thing happen where the way that I was seeing this graph looked great. But then when I went to download it, it actually changed um, the order and the spacing of the words that are down here. So in order to fix it, I just had to go back in and edit the size of the text. And when I made the text smaller, everything fit a lot better after I had downloaded it. So just letting you know, there's some little troubleshooting that might come your way. And that's one way that you can fix it. Um, okay, so back over to our chart here. This would be... Um, a great solution. Oh, if you're also not happy with the color of the font, you are welcome to go in and you can bold it, italicize it, or also change the color like so. So you can do whatever you want with that. Okay. So that is one solution. The other thing is you can actually change this. And instead of, I'm actually going to go back to the edit setting here. If you don't want to use a pie chart, but instead you change your mind, you're like, no, nah, bar graph sounds pretty cool. You can just go ahead and change from a pie chart to a, bi a bar graph that quickly. Um, so that is actually available in the edit setting right there. Um, a row chart is exactly the same. It just goes from side to side. 
So I think that actually looks really nice as well. So that is one option for your graph. The other thing is you can just choose a very basic timeline instead of a graph. I think sometimes I have some friends um, on social media who post a timeline of what they do throughout the day. And it's really funny sometimes just how trivial the things are that we're doing. So to make this go a little bit easier, I went ahead and typed out my timeline. I made one up as if I was perhaps an eighth grader. Um, I went ahead and typed one up on a se separate document. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just add the smallest type of text here. And I'm going to use control V to paste in my text. Ooh, buddy. And I just realized one thing it did that I'm not really fond of is it did not leave any of my formatting, like all the spacing and everything. So I still have to go back through here and put all of my my enters, my next lines. Okay. So we'll probably cut this part of the video so you don't have to watch me do all of this. Okay, so um, the best way to probably arrange my text for this sort of a dealio um, is to actually align it over, well, come on now. All right, so what I want to do is align this all to one side. So I'm gonna align it over to the left. Um, I could add some bullet points, which would be nice. And I'm also going to space this out a little bit more using this line height option here. Just that way there's a little bit more space between each of the events that I did throughout the day. All right, so now I have just a plain bullet list. What would be really nice is to add like a line kind of going through this. I'm gonna go ahead and put in line in the search bar here. All right, fantastic. So now I can just go ahead and take this line, rotate it around. To the 90 degree position, move it over here. And I can actually, if I go over here to position, I can move it backward so it appears right behind those bullet points, which then makes it look like um, like a timeline. So that is just one other option for you as far as graphics go. Um, and then the next video, I will show you how to emphasize all of those types of elements um, with some background mats and shapes.